Hello everyone, this is Sam back for a new video. Today what we're gonna be doing is actually in Excel and we're probably gonna have a lot of fun because right now, unless uh, you guys didn't pay any attention, there has been quite some issue on the Get Wars to Spidey website. Now, I know that a lot of you are used to online solutions developed by very good guys like Jolu Marty or even Quaecherius. They have made very good websites to track your investments, see what you can craft, make your profits. But at the start of all the TP playing, for you, me and the other guys, there was just using Gears to Spidey, which was the, the major website, and importing his CSV into an Excel sheet and then working your way from there. However, since that website doesn't seem to be maintained properly anymore, we need to look at some other solutions to keep working in Excel in the most efficient way. Now, what I would say first is let's go back to basics. Usually what people did in Excel was simply using the sheet from Gilwars to Spidey. It is exported as a text file, a .csv, that you could simply import into your own sheet. If we look at the connections right now on this sheet, you can see that I have two connections which are directly related to Gilwars to Spidey. This is indeed just a proper CSV importation from this that I explained on a video a few years back on this very channel. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply start from these two and work our way up until we can make a call directly from the Gewers2 API. For this you are gonna need but one tool, an Excel of a version that is at least 2010. If you have Excel 2010 or Excel 2013, you can download the add-in for the Power Query GAN Transform from the Microsoft website. If you have Excel version 2K16 or above, or even better, if you have Office 365, you don't need to do anything, it is already built in. So what we did first was getting a full import from all the items and all the recipes from Guild Wars 2 Spidey. This is for just one simple reason. One, it is very interesting to import data directly from the Gears 2 API. It requires you to know exactly which item or recipe IDs you're gonna be calling. This proves to be quite an issue as you can either call a full list of the ID or call based on the IDs that you want the entire details of them. There is simply no merging between the two so that you would have all the IDs and all the items. If you have found a way to code this, you can just tell me about it and I will see how to make this work within Excel and make it into a better tool. Otherwise, I'm still researching that one on my own way. Now, as we have these two sheets already imported, and once again, if you do not know how to do this, I have already made a video a few years back, we can just decide to sort them. So we have the profession which allows us to sort it for the recipes from Spidey, the discipline ID. And on the other end, for the items, we're simply gonna use the type ID and subtype ID. This allowed us to make two major lists. So I just went with a simple pivot table and sorted on the discipline and the rating so that I would get all the recipes that I am currently interested in. If you are wary of the other videos on this channel, this actually corresponds to the recipe of the items I crafted the most through Gear Wars 2 Profits. I just wanted to put that into my very own tool. On the other side, we have a split of all the items that I wanted to import. And this, what it takes quite a bit, is completely worth it. So I have a list of the IDs and the item on this side. And then, the best way to proceed when making a call to the Gear Wars 2 API is to restrict the number of individual IDs you're gonna get at once. In my opinion, the best way to do so is to restrict it to 200 IDs per API call. This will ensure that you do not surcharge your spreadsheets and do not risk having too many characters in the URL, which would simply block the API import. Now you can see that I have a few lists for the 
recipes and items and once you have this you just need to paste it at the end of an API link. If you do not know how the API works for Gearworks 2, you can head over to the Gearworks 2 wiki in order to look at how calls are made from the API and the type of results you get by just going to that one URL in your browser. The results given by the API are all in the JSON format and the most simple way to make an import of this is indeed to use the Power Query. If you do import from other source and then from web, by using simply the URL, you're gonna be able to work on your own query. This is how it looks like on my own hand. I have here the list of all the items that I wanted with the entirety of the information coming directly from the API. So the name, obviously, the type of the material, a few other information on it, as well as all the trading post information, obviously, in real time. The idea behind that is that whenever I refresh the spreadsheet, it is going to import the latest data by directly calling from the API. Here, the values did not change as I actually refreshed the spreadsheet not so long ago. So the best way to have a look at exactly what I did would be to open one of the queries that I made. So, as I told you, I have had to make different calls for recipes in order to keep the ID number below 200 for each of the queries. If I simply decide to open one on the browser itself, this is how it will look like. The output item ID and the information that comes with it. This is the way it works for recipes and you just have for each output item the items you need to craft it and the number of each. The profession is simply written here. This is actually rather interesting in only way to make a tool for yourself because it gives you some sort of flexibility that you would not necessarily have by using a tool that has already been made by someone else. This lets you be creative and I think that this is extremely important in furthering your understanding of the Gears 2 market. Personally, I am using most of these sheets as a way to track my investments, to look at what is profitable to write down my usual flips and check in one glance whether or not they're still profitable, as well as to simply keep a log of everything I should be doing on a daily basis as part of my routine. On this spreadsheet, I have just written down a cheapest peak table. This is extremely simple and it just calls for a few items on the prices in order to determine what is the best to make some items later on. For example, with the tier 5 material cheapest pick, I know what to buy in order to make Mystic Couriers. With the basic versus refine, I know whether or not it is worth insta-buying some materials in order to go faster with my crafting. With the orbs versus refine, I know which way is the cheapest to get myself some amalgamated gemstones, and so on. This is extremely simple and of course requires little to no knowledge about Excel. It is just a bunch of extremely simple formulas, mostly VLOOKUPs, min maxes, and sometimes a few other more complicated macros. I will be making one of those sheets available for my Patreons so as to avoid them having to work on macros, especially for the fact that for example, to concatenate all of these directly into a number and a list here. I mean, there were a few amelorations I've given to this sheet. I hope that you have found the introduction part of this video interesting and I am now going to do a demonstration on how to make a call from the API in order to show you how easy it is. For example, if I go back to my sorting sheet and decide to take the first list of items, it is going to be extremely simple. The easiest way for me to proceed now is just to create a new query. So from web, now it is going to pull you for a link. You paste the numbers that you've gotten from there, you get to the start over here, and then simply you get the URL for the API from the Gilwars 2 wiki, and you just add a simple argument. So now you're shown a list with records in there. Do not panic. It is extremely simple to work from there. You just have to convert it to a table. Now you do not need to make any specific choices and you're just gonna expand your field. Make sure to remove the use original column name as a prefix as you do not want to blotter your view 
of your columns. Then you can just remove the stuff that in your opinion is not particularly relevant to what you're going to want to do. In my case, AI usually removed the vendor value, the description, the game tab, slags, restrictions, checklist and icon, because these have literally no use to me. Then I go on, take the ID column and put that one back at the start. And here you are with the list of your items with all the information that you need about them. If you want, for example, to add the, the prices for each item as well as the quantity available on the trading post, it is very simple. You just make an API call from the commerce part of the API with the same list of items, so it's just the URL part that would be changing, and then you can simply merge the two queries with this over here. If you have made multiple queries for calling more than 200 items, you can also decide to append them, which means basically sticking one query below the other in order to have, just like I have on my side, a full view of all the items that I want, one below the other. If you have enjoyed this video and the tutorial, make sure to leave a thumbs up under it. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask them either in the comment section or by coming on my Discord and asking simply here. If you want any further information, I would also advise you to contact me through Discord as it is the best way for me to answer anything. I hope that all of you are going to have a lot of fun making your own tools in Excel as it is simply the Training Pros Baron adventure in my mind. And to every one of you, I wish a happy trading and to get rich by playing Excel.